and welcome back to nscenic.co.uk. My name's Tom and today I'm going to talk to you about our latest release, the Cast Iron NCNIC N-Gage Bridge. I'm going to show you a build guide from start to finish on how to build and complete the model. While we're on the subject of new releases, I'd just like to show you our latest release as well as the substations times two and the mast, communication mast to go with it. It's a great little kit and once built and weathered, looks fantastic on any layout, along with the modern era style pedestrian fencing we've got here in the front. Dead easy to glue into place. It comes in strips of five, all joined together. You can cut and short join them together for any length you want. Just apply a little bit of glue at the bottom, hold in place and allow to dry. And the latest release we've done this week is the free arch supporting wall. Easily weathered again, just colour in with any style of paint you want, whether you've got dark brick on your layouts, red brick on your layouts, dead easy to apply the paint to, you'll still get the brickwork etched in detail and through. From the bottom to the top, it weighs, it measures 72 millimetres. From the bottom to the top of the arch is 40 millimetres. From end to end is 230 millimetres. And the gap between each arch is 50 millimetres. Okay, so we're going to start with the build guide now. I'll just get the parts ready that we need to, for the first section. I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, taking our first cardstock, I've cut out the pieces. These are the pieces you get in the first one. So you get two sides, the bridge, two supporting bits, and two railings. The railings we don't need to begin with, so we'll put them to the side. Okay, and you'll notice on one of the sides, it has an etched line here. That's just so we can align this piece up later on. So make sure that edge line is faced down. We don't want to be gluing onto that part now. And this side to match. So basically we're going to join these together. And that's what this piece is for. So applying a bit of glue, you'll see that this will match exactly the shape of the bridge. So on half of this, just apply some glue. Line up and just let that dry. Okay, we'll just flip it over, and then now we're going to attach this to this piece. So just apply some glue. Okay, so that's that done now. Now with this piece, as I said before, we've got a line running diagonally here. It's just so to be so we can align this up dead centered in the model so it all looks perfect. Apply some glue. And apply that. That also hides the join between the model as well, so it looks more authentic. Okay. Now repeat that for the other side of the model. Okay, so we should now be up to this stage. So we've got two halves of the bridge joined together. The next stage we'll need, or the next part we'll need, is the strengtheners or the interior supports for the bridge. So we've got six larger ones, two medium ones, two small ones, and we have two singles one slightly bigger than the other. The very smallest one, we don't need for now, so we'll put them to a the side. Okay, so starting with the larger, largest supports, just take one to begin with. And I'll move one of these halves out the way. Okay, so we want to flip this over so we ensure that this decorative bit on the outside of the model is faced down to the table, and we've got the larger support facing us. Okay, we'll start with the large support, and we're going to go from this complete strip, this edge here we've got, is where we start. So, in essence, this is going to attach to that like that. So, just apply a bit of glue, right down that beam. Take your internal support, line it up so it 
level with the bottom of the bridge and just hold it roughly 90 degrees for a few seconds. Okay, I'm going to take one more larger one. And on the next full beam that goes right to the bottom of the bridge, we do the same again. Okay. And one more larger one. And the next one up. Now you want one of the medium ones, so slightly smaller than the largest size, you'll see there's a slight difference in size. That will fit on the next one up, again line up the bottom edge of the curve of the bridge. So I'll apply some glue as with before, hold into place 90 degrees. And then out to the small one, it's the larger one of the two smalls. And then the smallest one, not including these ones. These ones we've set to the side, the very small ones we've set to the side. So the smallest ones are what we've got left. Those next, and that will put up against the the internal support we've here before. So again, just run some glue. And hold. Okay, so that's that side done. So we'll repeat the other side now. Okay, so that's done. So we're left with these two small ones. Now these are just optional supports, all depending on how you're gonna build or incorporate this bridge into your layout. These will go at the ends, just to stop it wobbling about. Uh, again, like I said, it all depends how you're gonna fix this to your layout. So I'll leave these to the side for now. I'll show you where I attach them later. Okay, so for the next stage, we bring back, do the half the bridge. And we want to lay it down again face down with the detailed work on the facing the table the larger support facing us okay so we just take this simply i'll just turn this around for me for my sake so turn it around and roughly position this where it needs to be okay so i find it best starting at the center one and then work your way down the arch. So as we before, we're going to align it up to the bottom of the arch and in the same position, in the same position as before. Okay, once we've got this first one in place, you'll notice you can bend these supports out the way and you can easily get to the part that you need to apply glue to. Flip this around so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just bending this out the way. Apply some glue. I'm going to line this edge up with the bottom of the curve. And just hold it into place.
And again, once you've done that side, start in the centre and work your way down the arch again. Okay, so that's all attached together now. So we're just left with these two small supports, which I'm going to attach just here at the bottom to add some support. At the bottom, so I'll do it with my hand. Then these are just optional, all depending on how you're going to build this bridge into your layout, these might be in your way, so I'll let you decide how you want them. Okay, and that's that for that part of the build. Okay, so for the next part we're going to need out of the cardstock is the two uh, bridge decking and the supports to join them together. Okay, so basically these are going to butt up to one another like that. We're going to glue this into the centre like this and then this is going to hide that join there. So we'll start with this piece. Doesn't have to be that accurate this, more so this way. So just half it, apply some glue, and then just eyeball half, just glue that down, okay, and we're going to put this up to the edge, so on this remaining tab, just apply some glue, put them up, and hold into place. Okay, so this bit, you'll see it's got a dark line on this side. This is the side we want to fold on. So just hold it against the table, just fold it in half, you'll see it kind of bends it easily. And we want to apply some glue down the inside of this fold. Just hold that at 90 degrees until that's rise. And bend in the same way. Hold that at 90 degrees and apply some glue. Okay, so this is just going to cap that bit off like that. You'll notice on the edge here, I've got a little mark. That just indicates the centre of this, so you can line this up properly. So, once that's in place, just apply some glue to hold this into position. Down both sides. Okay, so that's done. Next we're going to bring back our frame upside down and we want to align this 
So all four corners are equal to this bed that the deck we just put on here. So starting in the centre, and we're happy with the position. Just apply some glue down the inside edges of both sides. position okay now you've got some wiggle room with this it does move slightly so when you're happy just clamp it with your finger where you want it just do one side of the bridge for now so I'm going to do in between these two internal supports And I'll move down. Okay, so that's that half done. I'm going to work on this half now. So slip them on the round so it's facing me. And should now be pretty much held into position. And just finish off with some glue on the other half. But the reason we did one side to begin with is you still get some wiggle room, so you can still just squeeze in this edge and line it up properly with the deck. Okay, so that's that done. And that's that's now attached to the top of the bridge, and that's got some support there now so the next part we're going to need or parts is the railings and the brickwork now I've prior painted mine in a red ochre again depending on what color brick details you've got on your layout you can paint these dark half and half up completely up to you that's why i've not supplied these as painted okay so to begin with we're going to need two halves these are going to be joined together like this let's move this out of the way and we're going to require one of that or two of the large brick details so as we're before with the bridges we're just going to glue half of this onto this tab so aligning all the corners up Move that into position. Okay, it wants to dry, flip it over. And on the space what's left, apply some glue. Put it into position. And finish that. So that's that glued onto now. And so just to hide this joint again, we're going to take this other larger brickwork. That'll secure onto there. Okay, and then we're gonna glue in the same manner the smaller ones into position.
Okay. So repeat that process. For the last couple of items we have here. Okay, so they're both complete. Okay, so we've got both our rails now joined as one big long piece. We're going to bring back the model. And we're going to attach these onto the model. So, we're going to start on the center again. And roughly about two or three mil in from the edge. Just apply some glue. And hold that into the center. Okay, and then once that's dry, just position these sort of equal distance from the edge. Then we want to attach the other half to complete the model. Okay, and there we are. We have the cast iron bridge model complete. Any areas of the brickwork that's come off while we've been handling it, just touch up with your paint what you've made, you originally painted it in. We've got a few dots and the tops just to finish it off. So now it's up to you whether you want to weather it, stain it, make it look rusty, colour it, whatever colour you want. So this, this kit, what I've built in front of us, this is the painted version of what we sell on the websites and on eBay. Uh, and we do do a version which is just plain white card for you to colour however you like. Uh, I hope you enjoy the model, I hope you enjoy the build. I've done this as quick as possible for you, so it is a little rough around here, just do take your time. There's a printable version of the instructions on the website you can print out and follow along with that as well if you want. All I, do say, all I will say is take your time and it's, it's, an, it's a pleasure to build to be fair, it's a good model. I do like the way it looks on, on the layout. And uh, thanks for your support. Give us a like down, below, uh, like down below, subscribe to the channel and I'll put a link to our Facebook page where we're doing updates of any new releases we've got. Thanks and I'll see you again soon.